Hello, my name is Dawn and Samuels, and I'm the Manager of Visitor Experience and Interpretation at the Rubin Museum of Art. We're located in Chelsea, Manhattan, where we explore Himalayan cultures and ideas. This week, we're continuing our daily offering video series as a ways to recenter and introduce everyday practices and words of wisdom to help us get through these unusual times. Uh, the practice of today will focus on bodhicitta and gratitude. Within Buddhism, bodhicitta is understood to be the spontaneous wish to gain enlightenment for the sake and benefit for all beings. So to explore this concept even further, we're going to look towards the Bodhisattva of Compassion, Avalokiteshvara or Lokeshvara, in his thousand-armed form. In this Tonka painting from 18th century central Tibet, Lokeshvara has 11 heads piled on top of each other, varying in color. Near the top, he bears a wrathful face with bared fangs, and right above is the face of his spiritual father, Buddha Amitabha. A large white circle surrounds his body. Upon further inspection, this halo is actually made up of his many arms, detailing all 1,000. While a pair of his arms is at his heart, most are performing the hand gesture or mudra of generosity, as if he is giving you something. And in each hand, he has an eye, as if fully aware of the receiver of his compassion. It is said that when Lokeshvara first started his journey to help all sentient beings gain enlightenment, there was a point that he became so overwhelmed that he physically broke into a thousand pieces. It was with the aid of his spiritual father, Buddha Amitabha, that he was able to be put back together again in the form you see before you. Here, he embodies what it's like to give an infinite amount of compassion to others. To dive deeper into compassion and bodhicitta, our host for today, Venerable Tenzin Piradarshi, will lead us in a short meditation. I'm Tenzin Priyadarshi, a Buddhist monk, the director of the Dalai Lama Center for Ethics and Transformative Values at MIT. Today, we are contemplating the great compassion, Lokeshvara, one of the manifestations of the Bodhisattva of compassion, standing tall with a thousand arms. 11 heads, and on the palm of each hand, an eye. The idea with this manifestation that ordinary compassion is something that we all experience. But as a Buddhist, we are also called to engage in building the capacity for great compassion, that we must each one of us become reservoir of great compassion, from which compassion flows freely, helping all that are in need. I was introduced to this image of Lokeshwara very early in my own adventures and exploration. And one of the uh, individuals, of course, besides uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who is seen as the emanation of Ablokiteshwara, revered in that form. That the sense of great compassion I encountered with Mother Teresa in Calcutta as a kid. That the sense that by our day-to-day -day activity, you see, and she used to famously say that we all cannot do great things, but we can do small things with great kindness. So when we speak of great compassion, it is not that we have to engage in monumental things to do. But the idea that beginning with even a small act, a gentle act, but with the intention of great compassion, with the intention of kindness. So we'll engage in this practice on manifesting bodhicitta, the nurturing of bodhicitta, 
as one of the many meditations, one of the many forms of meditation associated with the cultivation, the nurture of Mahakal, great compassion. We will spend the next few minutes in a meditation, an abbreviated meditation on the cultivation and expansion of bodhicitta, a compassionate, altruistic, awakened mind, inspired by the thousand arm Lokeshwara. Firstly, simply assume a comfortable posture, a relaxed posture. And gently begin by taking a few deep breaths. Now in this somewhat quiet state, simply imagine that your entire being is filled with a sense of loving kindness and compassion. And if it helps, simply visualize that your entire being is filled with a reddish golden light representing this immense loving kindness and compassion. And this reddish golden light fills your physical being from your cranium to your toe such that no part is bereft of it. And simply rest in the state for a few moments. And gently imagine that this reddish golden light becomes much more vibrant and vivid at your heart or near the heart chakra. Feel the warmth, the joy of compassion. Simply imagine being surrounded by your loved ones, your friends, family, acknowledge their presence in your lives and gently imagine sending rays of light emanating from your heart filled with loving kindness and compassion and imagine that it touches the heart of each one of them. They're happy to receive it, and in turn, they send you back their well wishes. Receive them, and simply rest your mind in the state of joy and friendliness. I gently imagine being surrounded by strangers, individuals who pass you by on sidewalks, grocery stores, airports. At times, some may have been kind to you. At times, you may have been kind to them. Acknowledge their presence in your lives. Gently send forth rays of light emanating from your heart filled with loving kindness and compassion. And imagine that it touches the heart of each one of them. They are joyous to receive it and in turn 
they sent you their well wishes. Receive them and simply continue to rest your mind in the state of joy and friendliness. I imagine being surrounded by individuals that you dislike or perhaps even hate. Individuals who may have harmed you or perhaps you may have harmed them. Acknowledge their presence in your lives. If they have harmed you, imagine that they are asking for forgiveness. If you have harmed them, ask to be forgiven. Forgive them and imagine being forgiven. And gently send forth rays of light emanating from your heart, filled with loving kindness and compassion. And imagine that it touches the heart of each one of them. Imagine they're happy to receive them and in turn they send you their well wishes. Receive them and simply rest your mind in the state of joy and equanimity. Simply take a moment to recognize the intricacy of interdependence, of interconnectedness. the number of lives that are part of your visible sphere and some that are part of your invisible sphere of connections. Gently turn your awareness back to your breath. As you open your eyes and prepare to re-engage with the world. Try to be the compassionate presence that you just visualize yourself to be. Be kind. Be gentle. Be fearless. So as we carry that centering thought Venerable Tenzin Priyadarshi has gifted us throughout our day, please share with us your thoughts or reaction in our comment section below. This way we can keep that sense of community with each other and try to stay connected. Thank you.